And now, your Big Two Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with meteorologist Derek Sibley. Oh, good morning, everyone. Here's a live look outside of Big Spring on top of the historic hotel settles. Check out that gorgeous sunset that we have outside in the horizon. And you can see the clouds overlaying some of that sunset as well. Just absolutely looking gorgeous out there. Our high temperatures today were just a little bit warmer than the last couple of days. Here's a look at those temperatures that were recorded here at some of our weather stations. And you can see we were in the upper 40s for many locations. We were very close to 50 degrees, as a matter of fact, today in Odessa Midland. So there are some improvements in our temperatures as far as getting steadily warmer throughout the day. With that high temperature of 49, that still puts us significantly below the average of 64 degrees for this time of the year. It was 28 degrees this morning. And by the way, that's uh, pretty cold here for this time of the year because we're supposed to be at 36. So no record highs or lows were broken, but as you can see, still well below average for this time of the year in West Texas. Now I do have some good news here for you. We are expecting a warm up trend beginning as early as this weekend, but it's not going to be lasting too much longer because it is going to be turning windy on Sunday. That's all thanks to a cold front that's on the way, which in turn is going to lower those temperatures here as early as next week. So what's happening right now on the regional satellite and radar Doppler, you can kind of see a lot of these clouds arcing their way from the northeast up towards our area, and that's all thanks to a ridge of high pressure building in the atmosphere. And we are expecting all those clouds that we see arcing over to move across our area right now. In fact, we're starting to look a little bit more overcast than we did earlier. Some of those clouds actually producing a little bit of rain showers off to the off to the west of us. Tonight temperatures are dropping down to the 30s. Overall, we're expecting a little bit of a warmer morning and evening compared to this morning and last night. So that's some good news there. High pressure is in control at the surface, which is going to create a sinking mechanism. That's why we're not seeing a whole lot of clouds off to the east, but because we have an evolving storm system to our west, we are expecting a lot of clouds here once again by tomorrow. We're watching an area of low pressure that's expected to develop as it pushes its way from the Rocky Mountains to the east. We're going to be on the dry side of that low and a cold front is expected to develop with that system as well. That is going to bring us some cold air as we hit to around to early next week. But again, it's not going to be lasting too much longer though. And as we head into Tuesday, conditions looking fairly nice here for us across the region. By tomorrow, temperatures will start off into the upper 30s by around 8 a.m. this uh, tomorrow morning. You can see it's still looking pretty cloudy as well. Temperatures a little bit warmer this time into the low 60s. And then by tomorrow night, we'll be dropping back down into the 50s this time. So those winds are looking a little bit breezy, as we, especially as we head into the weekend. Let's show, show you what I'm talking about here. As we head into tomorrow, notice those winds turning clockwise here out of the south, and they kind of go back around. That's all thanks to that high-pressure system building off to the east, which is influencing those winds, and it will be a little bit breezy, as said, as we head into tomorrow. But here comes Sunday. It's really going to be cranking with those wind speeds anywhere between 15 to 25 miles per hour, especially if you're out west along Eddy and Lee County and down in the Trans-Pecos, we could see wind sustained up to around 30 miles per hour. Now, because of the winds are going to be so strong, the National Weather Service has issued a high wind watch, which goes into effect from Sunday morning through Sunday evening. In fact, for those sustained winds of around 50, maybe even gust up to 70 miles per hour along the Guadalupe Passage and down towards portions of Marfa, Alpine, the Davis Mountains, all under this criteria. So just be careful over the next couple of days as those winds do begin to pick up in intensity. Here's a look at that seven-day forecast. You can see conditions looking a lot nicer with the sunny skies arriving. We are expecting a cool down after we hit that warm-up trend by this weekend. But here come the 60s here once again as we hit Thursday and Friday of next week. So we are looking a lot better in terms of those temperatures because we were in the 40s for quite some time and now finally start to see some improvements across the area. Make sure that you bundle up though during the mornings, especially next week after that cold front moves through because we're going to be in the upper 20s to start the mornings on Wednesday and Thursday. Now, don't forget to download the Your Basin Weather app to always stay up to date on our local weather here in West Texas. Pretty mild next seven days there, though. Yeah, it's looking uh, very mild yeah. as well. Beautiful a lot weekend. of sunshine expected, too, coming and up. A, and a great weekend. That's what we're uh, we yes. hoping for. Yes, I know. I was expecting that warm-up trend. I'm like, here it is. Going to yeah. enjoy that sunshine. What more could we ask yeah. for, Derek? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.